Hey guys, Clint Beastwood here. So the audio got fucked up. Um, you know, I did a lot of talking this video. Unfortunately, um, none of it is good enough to post. So I'm just gonna do a voiceover here. So I start this workout with a dynamic warm up. It's not all shown here, but I warmed up my lats and I warmed up my chest because I'm gearing up for a huge chest and back day. Okay, so here is the first exercise. Cable seated chest fly. Pec fly, chest fly, doesn't matter. Anyway, so this is what we started with. I do a couple warm up sets here and then I work to a very hard set of 15 reps. I control the eccentric and I squeeze hard on the inside. So it's all about control. You still want to be intense as you bring the weight forward. And after that set, so you essentially want to go all out during that first working set to the point that the second working set, you're going to use the same weight, but you should not be able to match the same amount of reps. So with that, we actually did a rest pause. And when I say we, I just mean me, me and my muscles. So we did a rest pause and all right guys. So the next exercise is the incline strength machine bench press. And for this one, same sort of thing, a couple warm ups. And I do one all out rest pause set uh, where I worked up to about three plates or three and a half and then went for 10, seven, then five. No spot. Normally I'd like to have a spot here so I can really push till failure. But when you're on your own, when you're solo dole, you gotta make things work. So for the next exercise, I superset a dumbbell flat press with dips on the Atlantis dip machine. I flare the elbows out and really push down hard to get some really good activation in my lower pecs. And I aim, I do one warm up set and then I do two hard working sets where I go for eight to 10 reps with the bench or with the dumbbell press. And I go for 10 to 12 reps with the dips. And when I say these rep ranges, I'm aiming to fail around those rep ranges. And usually I don't get anything more than that. So to bring in the back portion of the workout, I start with pull-ups and I use the assisted pull-up machine these days so that I could really work on using and activating my lats. Uh, it's been working really well for me because obviously I'm pretty heavy. So 
the control that I have without it isn't as good. I mean, I can still get like six to 10 pull-ups, depending on how fresh I feel. But uh, the activation is much better when I use the assisted. And for the pull-ups, I did three sets of 10 to 12 reps. Stretch and squeeze, stretch and squeeze. That's the motto for all the back movement. Get a full stretch at the end of that high row and then pull hard and squeeze like a motherfucker and activate that upper back. And then I did a rest pause here as well. Next, I did the Nautilus low row, and the goal here was to aim for 15 reps with my max set. So I loaded up about five plates, if I remember correctly, and I got straight to it. Hanging is such a simple movement. I do it to help decompress the spine. Ever since I've implemented it, I've had a lot less issues with my lower back. Not that I've had many, but I've had a couple. Sometimes it got really tight. And uh, it just comes from working so hard and you're always like compressing as you're doing exercises, but you're never really doing anything to reverse that, right? So hangs are really good for those. Also hanging upside down on the version table is good, but it's got a 300 pound limit. I might die on that thing. Anyways, hope you guys liked the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll holla at y'all later.